Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living Series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study Series. That's a tongue twister. And today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go over the mass, 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 I can't say the word all of a sudden. I'm going to go over the Bible's definition and explanation of what ma being masculine, what being a male is. <clears throat> In order to do that, uh, we have to briefly go back to the Old Testament because there is a law of first mentions that means the first time something is mentioned is a key uh, ingredient in everything afterwards that it has to say about that and what I want to do is go back to Genesis 2:24 briefly and show you the first time that God talks about the difference between a man and a woman and he says that a woman is taken out of man he's flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone her bone and the and the man shall leave his father and mother and be joined with his wife and the two shall become one flesh now that's very important because only a man and a woman can become two flesh not two men or two women only a man and a woman can become two flesh and the, he made a man and a woman differently so that they could become one flesh and a uh, man should leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife that shows that his father and mother were the leader of the house um, they were the head of the house and now he becomes the head of the house leaving his father and mother he becomes the head of the house and in uh, after the fall of man in Genesis 3 17 and 20 it talks about how God is no longer the provider for the family uh, because man choose to become the provider of his family and to make those choices so after the fall of the man uh, man uh, now the earth has fallen and man becomes the head of his house is the head of his household but he now becomes the provider um, the protector and so on everything that God was supposed to be man now is for his wife the protector the leader and the head of the household okay so let's go to John 15 13 uh, it says that a man uh, is so willing to protect uh, his family so willing to protect that he is willing to die uh, for his family or for those that are in his care a man honors has understanding is kind and gentle and protective in 1st Peter 3 7 in Ephesians 5 25 and 28 he leads and he takes initiative and the responsibility if you look at 1st Peter 3 7 he uh, helps raise his children and trains them in the word and he provokes them not to anger now the reason that for there to be a difference in the sexes uh, which I probably should have said a little bit earlier going back to the Old Testament Malachi 2:15, the reason that there's a difference between a male and a female is that they become one flesh why does why do they need to become one flesh because godly want God God wants them to have godly offspring so that's the reason there's a difference in sex is because God created family not just individuals but he wants individuals to become family and at, because of Jesus dying for our sins we are now family with God. Family is very important. And the man is the head of the house <clears throat> and he desires godly offspring through our union. Now Ephesians 6 4 uh, a man works with all his heart. Uh, 1 Timothy 5 8 he uses his gifts to serve others. Uh, he is the deacon and the bishop in the churches as leaders. And, and, and you can take a look at a lot of uh, Titus and Timothy it talks a lot about the leadership of a man uh, even though sometimes it's talking about deacons and in the church uh, the church is a representative of Jesus and his bride so man is the representative of Jesus and then the church is the representative of the bride so you can get a lot of ideas from that what the difference in masculinity and femin femininity is in the Bible verses and then take a look at Jesus uh, Paul, Timothy, and some of the other great people in the New Testament and follow their lifestyles and you can see the masculinity in that. 